Okay, so today I want to change this old style cord outlet on my Jayco trailer to the newer style plug-in, which is much better because it'll keep rodents and mice out and water out. And it'll just be a lot easier than shoving the cord back in the trailer. First thing is to remove the old stuff. So I've already unscrewed this piece here and took the cord, pulled the cord all the way out. And the only problem here is now the original hole is way too big for the new piece to fit in and look decent. So I'm going to make a couple custom pieces here so that it fits properly. And as you can see, there's nothing really in there to screw into. And I'm going to want this thing to be solid because you're pulling your cord in and out. So stay tuned. Okay, so I've just had this scrap piece of plywood. And all I did was cut a little notch with my jigsaw. Nothing too fancy for the cord. And I'm going to install that on the inside of the trailer. Over top the cord. That'll give me something to screw the new plug into. Okay, so from the outside, that's what my plywood chunk looks like installed. Since my hole's too big on the trailer, I'm gonna use this uh, scrap piece of uh, white acrylic to cover up the hole on the outside. So I'm gonna have to drill it so that the plug will fit through it nice. And then I can attach everything and put some silicone to seal it up. Okay, so there's my piece. I cut it nice and square and pre-drilled all the holes to match up to my outlet. So now if I put my outlet in there, everything matches up and fits. And it'll look something like that on the outside of the trailer. Okay, the next step is to cut the wire. I pulled it out all the way. I probably left about six inches. I'm going to cut it off down here and I'm going to strip the wires. And once the wires are stripped, I'm going to just put my hang my little custom plate that I made there I'm gonna attach the wires to their color-coded spots on the plug all right once the wires are attached I'm going to just put a little bead of silicone around this circle to create a nice watertight seal just make sure that plywood centered and I can put everything in and start putting the screws in okay so that's mounted nice and solid not moving anywhere. The reason I put this tape here is because I'm going to put a nice little bead of silicone along here and I like to make my silicone neat so I'll put some more tape around and once it's on there I'll peel the tape off while it's still wet which will make a nice clean silicone line. Okay there's my silicone and when we peel the tape off it'll leave a nice clean edge. And there's the finished product. Turned out pretty clean, pretty nice. The last step will be to mount the plug to the end of the cord so that it'll plug in to the new spot. Okay, so there's five screws and you can take apart this uh, plug connector so that we can wire it. On this piece, there's a little rubber. We'll shove the cord through that'll keep a nice uh, tight uh, water seal. And as far as stripping the cord goes, uh, you don't want to leave uh, cut off too much of the black coating there so you're pretty much just going to cut off about that much of the coating and strip those three wires and then we'll put them in and once i get those wires stripped i'll slide that rubber grommet piece on and then the black plastic piece can go on and then we'll attach the wires to the plug part okay once we get those mounted uh, they weren't really color coded like the other part, but they are labeled. There's a W for white and the green actually was colored. Obviously the black goes in the other spot. So now it's just a matter of reassembling the plug. And there's the finished product, nice and clean, waterproof. And if you have uh, wired it wrong, uh, you'll know when you blow a breaker, uh, hopefully that's not the case. It, sh it should be pretty straightforward. So next step is to test it. Okay, so all you got to do then is plug your cord in and give it a twist until it's locked in place. And that's it. Done.